Welcome to Exploring This Life, Season 1, Episode 9. Hello, everybody in YouTube. Uh, we're getting ready to go out on a day trip today. And uh, where are we going? We're going out past Yarrington to a, an old mine called the Minnesota Mine. And it's in Douglas County, not Lyon County. It borders, it kind of is in the corner of Douglas and Lyon. But we've been there a couple times. And it's a really good place for rock hounding. Yeah, the last time we went was with your dad, wasn't it? Last year. And. Uh, I think we pulled quite a bit of stuff out of there so it's, it's one of my favorite sites to go to yeah it should be a good trip and uh, whatever we do find we will be taking pictures of today mm -hmm. uh, because that was a request in the last video um, and hopefully depending upon wind weather and and whatnot we should be able to get the drone up and, and get a good look around it's so. an it, it's an open mine pit so there's a deep like quarry that has water in it at the bottom well yeah last time it had water so hopefully it does again um anyways let's go ahead and get started and we'll head out that way the minnesota mine was discovered in 1900 and it was then known as part of the buckskin mining district and now it is part of the yarrington colony and even though it was discovered in 1900, it didn't first start producing until 1916.
During its lifetime, the Minnesota has had several different owners. The last group of people took ownership in 1975, and the mine has not operated since 1975, and it is unknown whether or not um, it will ever be mined again. The mine also had several different names, and currently it is called the Minnesota Mine, and previously it was known as Standard Slag Mine, the Minnesota Nevada Mine, and the Minnesota Copper Load Claim. Movie is the movie camera. Mm -hmm. And then turn it on. I need to make sure the stabilization is on. I'm trying to figure out how to use this new M50 from Canon. Uh, this is going to be our main camera from here on out uh, for most of our video. And uh, the image stabilization didn't do as well as I thought it should, so we've made some changes. We've got a gimbal coming for this. Okay, we are at the Minnesota mine, just outside of Yerington, Nevada. These are old uh, outbuildings that were part of the mine here. That's a large rabbit. Is 
Was that a television? Yeah, it was here before. Are these for electric? Yeah. I think they're porcelain insulators. They uh, insulate the metal from the electric lines. They're all broken. And they probably worth quite a bit of money. So it looks like they just cut cut this off. Yeah. There were three main types of ore body that were mined here. Copper, iron, and silver. There were many lesser found minerals as well, calcopyrite, pyrite, martite, malachite, sericite, magnetite, magnesite, dolomite, chlorite, and hematite have also been found in this area. I have personally found serpentine and chrysocolla as well. Now this is another uh, building here at the mine. I believe this is where they may have fed the ore into the, um, what do you call it? I'm trying to think and I can't think of it. They would have fed it into the conveyor to take it to wherever it was going to be processed. Somebody stuck their targets down in there. 
Oh, really? Yeah. So they could come back and use them. Oh, right there? Yeah. Let's go to that pile and then we can do the magnetite. You got the magnet? Yep. Okay. See the fool's gold in it too. Yeah. So there's a lot of uh, fool's gold out here. I guess it's called pyrite. Yeah. I don't know if you can. Can you see it? If you. Yeah. You can see it there. That's pyrite. So but the it's all over. The Minnesota mined iron and copper, and this black stuff is actually magnetite. So if you can. the magnet. I, we brought a magnet. And um, so this is magnetite. No value to it. I mean, not really. But it's cool. <laughs> Makes a mess. It does make a mess. It's fun. Yeah. Let's take a picture of it. Dirty. I really like this magnetite, it's so cool. I mean, this is a really strong magnet and it's stuck on really well. small. Yeah, Corey found some serpentine just lying about. I tumble a lot of this stuff and it turns out really nicely. Someone left part of their bowling ball. I love the contrast of the yellow and black.
The mine is part of the Great Basin region, and we are in the high desert, and we're at an elevation of 5,981 feet here at the mine. Scared him, he scared me too. Physiographic regions are how scientists try to characterize different land formations, and there are eight different physiographic regions in the United States. The physiographic regions are then broken down further into provinces and sections. There are 25 provinces in the United States, and there are 85 sections. So looking at this region as a whole, the Minnesota mine, its physiographic region is part of the Intermontane Plateaus, and the province is the Basin and Range Province, and its physiographic section is the Great Basin. The Intermontane Plateau basically just means that um, this land is a plateau which is surrounded on all sides by mountains. Check out the links in our description to see where we got all of this information about the Minnesota mine. The drone I use is a DJI Mavic Mini. It's really small, really lightweight, real fun to fly. However, it is very susceptible to high winds. One of the things you can do to counteract that is fly it lower to the ground. Didn't always work. Uh, especially on this day. It, it got pretty windy, pretty gusty out there. Um, but we did our best. Uh, we put it up three or four different times, and each time we lost control of it based on the winds. Uh, really unfortunate. Eventually, I think we'll be looking at getting a new drone, but that's going to be out in the future.
open pit where they mined. Okay, so we're at the quarry area now where they probably dug out all of the ore and whatnot that they were mining out here. I do apologize for the wind, it's pretty windy out here. have to walk down on the bottom, that level right there. You can see the water from here. From here? Yeah, you can see the water, but usually I go on this next level down. I just wanted to see if I could see from up here. I can barely see it. So. Okay, we'll go. Pretty blue. And that's how deep down it is. at the top of the quarry now. It's pretty impressive from, from this height. I don't know if you can tell how green the water is. We hope you enjoyed this video of the abandoned Minnesota mine. If you did like it, please give us a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to our channel and be on the lookout for the following video in this series where we will be rock hounding the Minnesota mine area. Thanks for watching.